iNews Views, September 21st. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existence. Albert Einstein. Inchun is hosting the 2014 edition of the Asian Games. This multi-sport spectacle brings together 10,000 athletes for 16 days under the official slogan of Diversity Shines Here. Asian powerhouses include China, South Korea, and Japan in that order. India is a perennial underachiever in sports and will try to improve on past performances in diving, gymnastics, table tennis, and badminton. Robots are a top priority in South Korea these days, but Japan is countering with a commitment to triple its robotics industry to $22.6 billion. South Korea's expertise in screen technology, semiconductors, sensors, and auto manufacturing gives it an edge in developing commercially viable robots that can compete in global markets. Google representatives have purchased two Hugo robots from Keist University, and Chunam National University researchers are developing nanorobots that will be capable of entering the bloodstream and attacking cancer cells. More than half of American adults are now single in a remarkable demographic change from 1976 when only 37% of the population was unmarried. These findings have significant implications for the U.S. economy, politics, and society. Economists and sociologists will be watching for variations in housing, education, and population trends. Another consequence of this societal shift could be an increase in income inequality and the resulting side effects. English proficiency tests are big business, but with the industry's explosive growth, new companies are beginning to offer lower cost or even free exams in an effort to elbow aside the few established players dominating the industry. These new tests can be taken on any computer or smartphone, and results are often available within 24 hours. Several questions have been raised about their validity and acceptance by industry and educational institutions and the likelihood of fraud or cheating by test takers, but many analysts believe the market is ready for a change to lower-cost evaluation of language skills. Germany's relentless push into renewable energy has implications far beyond its borders. The surging demand for wind turbines and solar panels has drawn Chinese manufacturers into the market, which has dropped prices faster than anyone thought possible just a few years ago. All this renewable energy production is making electric utility executives nervous because local power production means lower revenue for large power plants. Developing countries are looking into renewable production as a way to eliminate fossil fuels and build a clean energy grid from the outset. The U.S. is aiming for 20 to 30 percent clean energy by 2020. East Asian economies are being evaluated during a G20 meeting of financial ministers and economists this week in Australia. Policy changes are underway in Japan to boost its sagging economy. South Korea's pace of economic recovery has been weak, but improvements in property and stock prices mean it will achieve its, cur its growth targets of 3.7% this year and 4% next year. China's domestic demand is robust and growth is expected to continue.